Hey guys, here I am with all the messy gear behind me. I'm sorry. Uh, I just, I want to say, I know this video is long. I have done, I have edited it, went through it three whole times. Please bear with me. This box, it's a big box, had a lot of stuff, and I really wanted to go through it and really give everything a good, fair chance. So, yeah, it is a big box, but there's stuff in it that's worth it. There's uh, some stuff at the end you might want to see. So, um... The rest of the Club Tac unboxing videos hopefully will not be this long, but if they keep sending out these big boxes full of all this stuff, maybe, I don't know. But please make sure you check the video description for some extra information, and again, watch it through to the end for some extra information. For anybody that might be thinking about signing up for Club Tac, there's a little bonus for you guys in there too. So, thanks, enjoy. Hey guys, I am back. I am pretty excited. Club Tac, the actual box, the real thing, it's here. So we can do this unboxing and really give them that fair shake. And also in the world of exciting news, I found one of my hinderers. The rest are still among the missing, which is really sad and really heartbreaking, but at least I found this one. So cool. And it's and it's a triple lot design one too, which is cool. So I'll be using this little guy for the unboxing. All right, so there are one, two, three, four levels here. Now, legendary is, uh, well, classified to legendary members or CT members, not sure, club tech members who have a membership ranking of second lieutenant, right? So as you, you know, go through all this stuff and um, you earn ranks basically through club tech, which is, uh, I don't understand how it works, to tell you the truth, as, as it goes, but, um, you know, as you are part of the whole, the whole thing, you, you earn different ranks throughout different packages and all that other stuff. All right, now for more information on all this, the ranks and all the perks that go with it, honestly, I don't know. We'd have to refer back to the company website, but um, I'd love to know what comes in the legendary. From what I understand, they only send out like four of them a year or something like that, but let's take a look. So we've got the Club Tech Standard, the Pro, and the Premium. We're unboxing the Premium, so we get all this stuff and all this stuff and all this stuff. I'm very curious. I see some items I recognize in here. I see some things I've never seen before. So let's uh, let's just start through here. Let's start and of course i'll put the information for the cost of everything um because i i don't know to tell you the truth right now off the top of my head how much it all is <clears throat> let's start with the shave kit for uh, msrp of 14.89 i'm going to move the box out of the way so we can set our piles up here so shave kit is actually i don't think it's a kit i think it's really just a bag oh that's nice it's just the bag um more do not eat stuff. It's actually a pretty nice bag. Heavy duty canvas, nice lining on the inside Rothko. <clears throat> you know, I've been surprised lately with the quality of Rothko stuff. I have a sheath by them in the uh, tactical sheath roundup that I'm filming right now, and it actually is pretty good. Does it stand up flat? It does stand up flat, look at that. So, not a bad multi-purpose bag. I mean, yeah, you can use it as a shaving kit. I already have one um, that's, you know, all nylon and stuff. So I'd probably keep using that, but I could see this as good, like a little mini range bag, actually. Especially since, now it doesn't have the metal, if you remember in Battlebox, they sent one that had metal, um, like a frame that pops open and closes. This one doesn't have that, but this one has the virtue of being able to, like, really be folded flat down for packing somewhere. And it seems to want to just return to its shape, even without a, a metal frame in it, which is pretty cool. It actually feels like a very solidly put together bag. I don't have a lot of, you don't see a lot of canvas equipment anymore. Although the throwback is nice to the, you know, the old school stuff. But I think it's actually a pretty decent bag altogether. Plenty of room to just put various things in. Like I said, you know, use it as a shaving kit if you want. I would probably use it for some other stuff, but not bad. Solid zippers. Metal zippers. Um, unlike some of the other stuff in that trial kit. The zippers are not already broken. Nice. So I can think of a few different uses for this bag. The price tag, $14.98, or sorry, $14.89. I don't know if you could find that somewhere cheaper. But. Rothko stuff has, uh, and I even make fun of them, has kind of a reputation for being cheesy cheap stuff, but lately they've kind of improved a lot of their product line. And you'll see that with the sheaths. Um, this one's not made in the USA, but it's also not made in China. It's made in India. So, India has a frighteningly good Air Force, by the way. You probably don't know that. Their fighter planes they fly, they're good. Anyway, I'm going to put this in the like it pile. 
because this has some excellent use and it's well made and I like it. So item number one in the like it pile right there. Number two, Declaration of Independence. Well, that's odd. Interesting thing to get in a box, but okay. Declaration of Independence for 1795. And it is the Declaration of Independence. I mean, it's not the Declaration of Independence. I'm sure there is not, like, you know, a hole in the Library of Congress or wherever they actually keep this. No. It is a Declaration of Independence. It's not the Declaration of Independence. That's interesting. So it's cool to have. I'm not super thrilled with it. Um, I'll, you know, <clears throat> sit down and make eat and read it. Uh, my dad, growing up, made me read the entire U.S. Constitution more than once. Just to, you know, fully, you know, he said, know what this says. Don't just, don't just know it exists. Know what it actually says. Don't be one of those people that walks around saying the Constitution guarantees blah, blah, blah. Like, actually know what it says. So he made me read it regularly, and I would love to have Aiden read this. This is not bad. I mean, it's nice. I'm not going to put it in the don't like it pile, because I think that would be kind of a sin to put the Declaration of Independence in the don't like it pile. I don't know if this is what I want in a box like this, though. Um, so I'm putting it in the new. It used to be meh. It's uh, Now it's uh, like the good item. Just not crazy about it pile. The one in the middle. But you know what? It probably will get framed and hung up in Aiden's room, and I will make him read this to me. Um, so that he understands all those things, all the, the reasons Daddy was gone for so long when he was younger. So, one and one so far. Now we've got a compass for $9.99. I saw them in the box. And this looks like a reproduction of the Lensatic compass that I am going to, when it's warmer, I'm going to make a video with the actual you know military one, the tritium and everything. $9.99 is a very fair price for this, and I just gave one of these away in the giveaway, so getting another one is not bad, because now I can have my actual, like, issue one, and I can use this one for Aiden. And for $9.99, this seems like a pretty solid one. I'm doing some little folded up instructions. Instructions for use in English language. There you go, now you don't even need my video. Awesome. I know that an orienteering compass is not a complicated piece of equipment. It's just, you know, I'm so used to using this little guy and an MGRS map and a plastic little grid square and hammering out, you know, eight-digit grid references and uh, stuff like that. So, cool item. For $9.99, not bad. You might be able to find it for a little bit less. I, I know exactly what I'm going to do with this one. So, this will go in the like it pile. Next, we have the carabiner knife. $10.95. Let's check that out. Seeing on the back, they have much more in-depth um, descriptions of all these things. I'm just working on the front of the card. You know, I've thought about buying this thing um, more than a handful of times, looking around at different things. Apparently, serrations are now called a tooth blade. Okay. Let's take a look at it. A little oily right out of the box, but not, not too much. So, it's a locking D-ring, which is cool. I still wouldn't trust this for climbing or anything. I'm sure it says that somewhere in here, right? Anywhere? No? No? Okay, well, I still don't know if this is rated for weight bearing. I don't know. It doesn't It doesn't say anywhere on here, and guess what? I'm not going to risk it. Uh, but a locking carabiner clip. Nice. So what do we got in here? We got a little teeny tiny Phillips head. We got a giant fat flathead, and those are like the only two options. So that's interesting that that's, that's all they give you. Um, but okay, what else? Well, I'm going to have a multi-tool on me anyway. The thing that I'm most interested in is this knife. And it is locking. It's a liner lock. Let's take a look in there. Looks like decent lockup. Lock doesn't get very sticky. I mean, not really smooth, but this isn't the kind of knife you're going to be flicking in and out either. Mmm. Well, that didn't take long. Alright. So, after a couple slips, we got the, uh, the lock to actually stick there. That's good. Had some trouble initially. Doesn't feel, honestly, doesn't feel very sharp right out of the package. Um, and I'm not expecting it to be terribly sharp out of the package. And surprisingly, believe it or not, if you don't lock this and you let it kind of float in your hand, this is actually pretty comfortable. It's a lot more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. 
So we need to sharpen this thing right away, but I'm not even gonna get the power cord. Um, but you know, it's, it feels like the kind of edge that with just a little bit of sharpening, you could put a razor's edge on there. And this shouldn't be your primary blade anyway. I'd probably hang this, you know, off of a pack or something and just have a secondary blade waiting for me. I've wanted to try it out though for a really long time, so I'm glad they, they sent it to me. I really don't see any value in these tools up here. Honestly, it's all about the carabiner clip and the knife and what it can do for me. I think this is supposed to be a bot it's supposed to be a cork opener or a bottle opener. It says open the wine. I don't know how many wines need a pop top bottle opener, but I guess that's a bottle opener in there. Um, I want to sharpen this blade up though and see what it can do. So what did they say this costs? $10.95, that's not bad. I've seen this thing sold for a lot more online. Um, I think right now, though, I'm going to put it in the middle pile. Um, with the with the, the little caveat of, uh, I'm not sure how likely I am to use it. I'm glad I have it. I, it's not that I don't like it. Um, just a little upset that the quality on it isn't a bit better. Uh, especially with these two tools, but I am going to use it. It's, so I, I guess I should put it in the like it pile, but right now it's going to go in the in the middle pile for now. All right, next, paracord rope, 1395, 50 foot, sorry. So just some standard OD green. You guys know I'm never uh, never put off by, by 550 cord. And it says it's mil spec. It's got the seven inner cores, nicely packaged. This is something that, again, I would... This is already set up to go in like a go bag or an emergency pack or something. $13.95, I don't know. I think you could probably find 50 feet cheaper than that, but it feels like a good quality rope, actually. The braiding is nice and tight. I, I It doesn't feel like one of those cheaper kind of offshore. I, I don't know. If you're if you're used to it, there's, there's a feel that some of the cheaper cord has. This doesn't, it, it has that kind of spongy feel, like you can feel the seven inner strands. So, this is going to the like it pile. Even though you might be able to source this a little bit cheaper somewhere, um, I love a good old OD Green 550 cord. So, bam, there you go. Next, Invader Coffee, $16.99. I'm a fan of Black Rifle Coffee, um, and that comes in Battle Box now and then. I have never tried Invader Coffee, but I have heard good things, and I am looking forward to trying it. It's veteran owned and operated. I'm actually probably going to make some tonight because I have to work on some stuff. So, Blaze Ops Blend. I'm actually going to try this stuff tonight. I've heard really good stuff about Invader Coffee. Like, really, really good stuff about Invader Coffee. Um, you know what? I have to. I have to do this. Oh, man. Ah, oh, it smells good. That smells... That smells like caffeine. That smells like good coffee. That's really good. You know what? It doesn't smell like any kind of fancy flavors. Or anything like you know that Sam brings home. That's all I'll say. Um, so cool. So that's going to like a pop. Next, we've got Gear Guide twelve fifty. Now again, oh, let's jump back sixteen ninety nine. I don't know anything about Invader Coffee or the pricing. So if somebody wants to square me away on that or call me on that or something, that's fine. I I honestly don't know. So next, we've got the Gear Guide. For sixteen, sorry, for twelve fifty, which looks like this little guy right here. So, is this PVC or vinyl? I really, honestly, I can't tell the difference. But you've got your phonetic alphabet on it. You've got Morse code. You've got a ruler in centimeters and inches. You know what the best value of this is? Quit doing that to your little brother. Sit still. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. You know what this would have been really useful for with its ability to bend and fold and everything? putting together dress uniform stuff back when I was still active duty because you could just like lay this on something and instead of having it just be a rigid kind of ruler you could do that this would have been very useful for that but yeah you can uh, feed this into molly gear I guess to carry it around um, interesting to have out there I could see uh, honestly I could see uses for this now I again price wise I, I don't know I don't know what the actual value of this is, because where are you going to price comparison and shop around for this? Um, I don't know how much it costs them to get it made or anything like that, but uh, I, I could see the benefit of this. It would be interesting if they made like a series of these with different information in it. You know, something else this would be really useful for, again, you know, showing my geek to the world, 
playing Warhammer 40,000 games when you have to measure stuff up close in between individual models and having a nice flexible ruler that you can, you know, put in between things that you figure out if they're within certain ranges and stuff. So this has multiple levels of use to me. And although it is, yeah, on some level it's a little hokey, I, the thing is when, I, when I'm talking about liking things or not, I'm usually thinking about am I actually going to use it? And I'm actually going to use this for a lot of different stuff. I can take it to the shop. I can take it. I mean, it's it's not like, you know, I like to use um, metal rulers for a lot of my working in the shop and everything, but I'm always worried about them getting permanently bent or messed up. And this is a thing where, you know, I'm not going to be using it for big, huge projects, but I never have to worry about it getting bent and like stuck in a weird shape or anything like that. Um, it, it, it is limited in what it's going to do, but at the same time, I like this. I like this aspect of it. I do. So it's going to like it pile. So then we have the deck of cards, which I kind of reading the description to the gear guide, I thought they went together. All right, we might have one item in the don't like it pile. Um, they're they're kind of cool because they're military themed. Um, but it's just a deck of cards. Like, meh. Meh. So in all honesty, the deck of cards, while I do enjoy that they go in rank order, Corporal, or that could have been the specialist. I guess we're doing army ranks. Sergeant, Sergeant, class, Master Sergeant, Command Sergeant. Well, actually, that should be Sergeant Major. If we're going after Master Sergeant, commands, there's no such thing as Command Sergeant. It's Sergeant Major or Command Sergeant Major. So Lieutenant. Where's First Lieutenant? Where, where's Lieutenant Colonel? Well, I guess they're limited to how many cards they had. But anyway, um, this to me... And I get it. The theme here is, is March On, right? So it's, I guess, it's keeping you going. And yeah, I have never seen a deployment without a bunch of decks of cards and stuff. But this is something where I feel like maybe they could have done a little bit better on. It's probably not something I'm going to use, honestly. That's why this is going in the Don't Like It pile. There it is. But that finishes up our Club Tech Standard box with a value of 10417. Let's move into Club Tech Pro. And we are now looking at the extreme... Emergency car jumper battery kit with an MSRP of $129.95. When it comes in a rigid case, you know it's serious. So this is not just for car batteries. This is uh, basically a battery pack, right? This is a big battery pack with a set of jumper cables, USB cable. You can use this for damn near anything. Um, Wow, I used to have in my car, and it was a huge, it was like a small battery that you would charge up. And when I say small, I mean it was way bigger than this. But it was like, it was a big thing, and it really only gave you the option to jump a car battery. This looks like, let's see. So this guy not only jumps your car, um, you charge it, you know, refill it at home. It's got a flashlight, and it can be used for any of your USB devices. Not a super bright flashlight, but... When you are trying to connect jumper cables in the dark, I'm sure that that is bright enough. I think this is a great device. Um, <clears throat> says it's good for a thousand cycles. Fairly idiot-proof connecting. And then it has uh, LED color codes, and it says it in the manual. You know exactly what it means when different LED codes come on there for you. Basically, there's a green that tells you go ahead and start it. There's a red that tells you not, and then there's different flashing that, that tells you different things about the battery, what's going on. You can decipher that in the uh, in the manual. I think this is actually a really awesome device. Now, I, again, haven't used it. Something like this in the car up here. When we moved here, it did not like winter at all. I've had so many starting issues with it. And having this in the car, or, you know, this in Sam's car when she's got the boys, would make me feel really good about a lot of things. Um... And it makes me feel like a jerk for not having bought anything like this sooner. This is awesome. This is great. Now, this is an example of, this is not tactical, this is not tactical, but this is damn practical. And this is something that I probably, I just, it wouldn't have occurred to me. Um, there is, you know, civilians might not know this, the military does a lot of stuff in what we call the, the Blue Fleet, 
which is uh, like literally j just civilian vehicles that the government owns. You need a separate stupid license to drive them, even though you have your driver's license that says you know how to drive it. But you do a lot of stuff in those kinds of vehicles and they will send you on TDYs or, you know, errands around a base or something with it, you know, and just having this in case anything happens with that vehicle is awesome. So going in the like it pile. This is really cool. Now, again, price tag, I don't know, $129.95, I'm, I'm not sure. You guys can can check that and let me know, but it's it's pretty cool. I, I mean, like, I really like this item. I like the fact that it not only charges your cell devices, but that you can actually start a car with it. Sweet. Okay, moving on. Flashbang 19 and one custom grenade paracord. And now we've got this guy. And if you unravel the paracord from the product, it's very difficult to recreate the original shape even for experienced braiders. We recommend you keep it intact until you need it. So as much as I want to open this whole thing, oh, that's really cool, look at that. It's got, it's got a pin, uh, it's got a spoon. Um, be cool if this was spring-loaded. I guess you gotta put that through there, but um, I just heard a horrible thing that grenade qualification is no longer a graduation requirement in Army basic training, and I'm like, that sucks because I had to go through that twice because my Thumb, my pinky twitched holding the grenade behind my head and a drill sergeant saw my pinky like twitch and guess what that was like no no go re-execute the entire grenade confidence course interesting well is this a striker i think that's a striker right there so i want to i want to know what's all in this number one plastic ball i guess it's all wrapped around a plastic ball number two fishing line doesn't say how much we have though number three weights number four glow in the dark card it's just a glow in the dark card i like glow in the dark stuff number four Sorry, number five, swivels. Swivels. Number six, flint rod and lure. So there's our flint rod up there. I like to pivot for the spoon. Number seven, alcohol pads, cool. Number eight, some tinder. Number nine, tin foil. Number 10, a knife blade. That's a little scalpel blade. 11, a little compass. 12, cotton ball. 13, iron wire, 14, safety pins and needle, 15, wire saw, 16, water purification tablets, 17 is a whistle, 18, rubber band, and 19, fishing, well, fishing hooks, fishing hooks, times two, and floats, times two. Now, I, I, I don't doubt that I do not have the, uh, the wherewithal or the knowledge to put this thing back together the way it came. So I am not going to unwrap it. I guess everything's in this little plastic ball over there. And I just think it's, I want to hang it from the Christmas tree. Look at that. Thank you. I guess it's a useful item, but what I've, what I've been learning about stuff like these is that, um, they're cool to have, but that I'd rather put together my own little, little kit. So I do know what I'm going to do with it though. This is going to go to the, to the Cub Scouts for their, um, their summer camping trip. Um, I'm going to put it in the middle pile for now, only because I'm not going to use it. Hold still. $42.95. Ah, I think we could probably find that one a little bit cheaper, but, you know, that's us doing the work and finding it. Last item in the pro, the uh, we've got another turd. Look, it's another turd tactical rope dispenser. So now I've got two, so you know what that means. For all of you guys that like the original turd, and I, my turd was green, now my turd is black, uh, we've got a giveaway item for the next big giveaway right here. So I've already done the entire review on this. I'll put a uh, link to that in the video description. Um, talked all about this and kind of the ins and outs, how to take it apart, how to put it together. We talked about it is, is it useful, is it worth it, whatever. I'm not going to get all into it right now. Um, I think the general consensus was that it's one of those nice to have not have to have, but that for the job it's designed to do, it does it pretty well, and it gives you some some nifty little features there. I personally decided that I, I'm not like 100% on if I would carry it, but it's a well-made item. It is a quality item. I think that $29.99, if I remember correctly, is kind of a fair price for it. Um, not to mention the fact that it comes with 50 feet of power cord, and uh, it's you know all made in the USA by the Atwood guys. Um, so you can kind of rely on what's in there. So I'm just gonna put this in the like it pile. And again, if you're interested in, in seeing more in depth on, on the tactical rope dispenser, move on down to the video description and check out the link to that video to see how that all shakes out. But it's, it's a really interesting product um, if you use a lot of 550 cord and stuff.
So that finishes off Club Tech Pro for March. Let's move into the Club Tech Premium. And we're looking at the Bravo 8, Bravo XJ13 Red Dot Gun Optics. Now this is an MSRP of $219.95. I just said this in another unboxing that's not going to be posted uh, yet. Um, I don't do a lot of optic shooting. Most of my shooting time has been mainly... Oh, that's, I'm taking that out at first, and I got very dirty thoughts right off the bat. Uh, most of my shooting has been open sights, and I said, you know, for a, a brief time, you know, ACOG-type stuff. Um, there was a scope in another box that I just got that we were looking at. This is heavier than it looks. So I'm not... Honestly, I, you know, and I said this in the other video, I've never been a sniper, I've never been a squad designated marksman or anything like that. Um, I, you know, I just have been responsible for me and my personal weapon, and that's it. So, wow, that's pretty nice. Um, I don't have a lot of experience besides taking what was handed to me, you know, issued out and saying, put this on your weapon and, you know, use it. Um, this certainly has a fancy look to it. It has weight to it. It feels it. I know that on the outset, it kind of looks like something you would get, you know, for like, you know, an air gun or something. Because I guess they all kind of look like that. But just looking on the inside of the optics um, and feeling the materials and the weight, you can tell this is like not a toy. I'm trying to get a shot of the dot in there. It's pretty, um, pretty bright dot. And it is not like a big glaring glowing dot either. It's a nice concentrated dot, you know, so it doesn't like clog up your sight picture. It's very precise. And of course it has all the adjustments for windage, elevation. It has uh, five brightness levels and it says that the unit has a memory function for your brightness level. So um, if you're like setting it to a different brightness level, and then you turn it off, it will remember that brightness level when you turn it back on, as long as it's been on there for three seconds or more before you turn it off. Here is the very bright, this is the brightest, and then we'll cycle through the brightness levels. Yeah. Comes with a uh, pretty nice molded, um, feels like silicone safety cap. Keep everything protected while you're not actually using it. Naughty looking screwdriver for adjusting your windage and elevation and a little cleaning cloth for the optics. Um, now, I know optics are expensive. This genuinely could cost $200. I really, I don't know to tell you the truth because again, I'm not, a, I'm not a connoisseur of such things. I could ask Darren over at the shop what he thinks of it. <coughs> um, I'm sure if I did, the first thing he'd want to say is let me put it on a gun and go shoot him. Um, and that would be fine for me if he did. If it turns out it's a good one, I'm going to use it. Nah, ha, ha. So we'll throw this in the like it pile because I just don't have anything like this to put on anything of mine right now. So nifty. I'm dying to get to this thing right here, whatever that is. So now we're at the uh, VSSL Outdoor Flask Flashlight with an MSRP of $72.50. Oh, guess what? VSSL, a utility light that holds your booze. Outdoor gear for good times. I, I think I'm going to like this already. I can tell. So, let's see. Number one, this is a heavy son of a bitch right there. It looks like not a flashlight or a canteen, to tell you the truth. In the package, we've got an extra O-ring. Got some information. We'll look at that. We've got three AAA batteries. I'm sorry, they are not triple A's. Look at these little midget guys. E90. Okay. Well, these are going to be hard to replace, aren't they? Oh, look at this. The flask you are holding is the first of its kind. The interior surface has a glass layer that has been bonded to the cylinder at the molecular level. Doctor Who is definitely involved. It won't break and can't be removed. Glass is the best substance for maintaining the taste of your booze. We're proud to be offering the world's first metal flask with a glass-lined interior surface. Usage instructions on reverse. Okay. Um, well, first... Oh, wow. So there's lots of stuff in here. Let's see what we got. So it looks like... Is this... Shot? Is this a little shot glass? 
you know, it says there's instructions, but there's there's not very good instructions. Are there instructions on here? There are kind of. Um, we'll look at the specs in a minute. This is this is actually super cool. Okay, so my career field that I just came from, Air Force wise, that I just retired out of, was a very heavily drinking centric career field. So look at this. You've got two mini shot glasses that come in it that fold up. I love this thing already. Ugh. This would have been great at so many different group functions, call sign nights, roll calls, everything else. So you got your two little shots. Look at this. It comes with a cool little bottle opening challenge coin too. Hashtag, we definitely need this bottle opener. Okay. Um, so that's the bottom. And I think this is also the flashlight because that looks like LEDs. So now I got to figure out how to turn the flashlight on. Well, oh, it's got a button there. We'll do that in a minute. Let's see. Now, as for here, we've got a compass on the top, a Red Rider BB gun with a compass and a thingy that tells time. And in here we have our glass lined flask, I guess, for uh, carrying just a little bit of whatever it is that we want to carry out there and tip our glasses to those who came before us, those who will follow after, and all those here with us now, and have drink. So the flashlight is 200 lumens, 40 hours water resistant, impact resistant, LED lights never need replacing, 18 ounces, um, but how much does it hold of liquid? I don't know the actual volume of how much it holds, but I'll believe me, I'll figure it out. I, oh, I will figure it out. Let's see. Whoa, that is some bright light. Dimmer, flashing. Oh, it's SOS mode. Wow. So that was, I'm temporarily blind. So you got to hold it, turn it on. And then you've got a slightly dimmer mode and then your SOS mode and then it just turns off. That is, that is bright. Holy cow. <coughs> so we take our little collapsible shot glasses Put them back together. Oh, wait. Bottle opener. Challenge coin goes back in there. And then we put the top back on. We are ready to go merrily throughout our day with our chosen alcohol. And this bright flashlight. Looking around at things. Nice. I love this thing. Very cool, super cool. I pretty much love everything about this device right here. And you know what? I can pack up some only like $500 Jack Daniels, keep it in here. It will just age in there over time, I guess, and throw it in for an emergency. And if I ever get to the point where I am with that particular like ultimate emergency go bag and I realize that's it, I'm done. I've got a nice way to, to go on out Hopefully I'm going out swinging and fighting, but I'm having a drink on the way. All right, cool. Like it, pile. Next, finally, we have the K-Bar Law Enforcement Blade with an MSRP of 5572. And again, I'll look this up for the MSRP, but I don't know. I've never seen it before. I've never had it before. I think this is a little karambit type knife or little hawk bill, or what do you think? Bro, I think I'm throwing shit around the kitchen is what I think. So nice little... Not, it's not really coyote, is it? I guess it is coyote. Kydex kind of sheath. Nice. I've actually wanted something similar to this. Um, K-Bar has put out a few different of these models, and I've really liked them, and I've really wanted to pick one up. In terms of a self-defense kind of knife, I've heard great things about them. These are supposed to be awesome little fighting knives. So the sheath is designed specifically to fit... Um, police officer's duty belt. It comes with a screwdriver that you can use to remount this um, if you want to do a horizontal carry instead of a vertical carry. Um, I'm not going to do paper tests and everything for this because all the serrations is just going to tear the thing up, but um, really for, for its purposes right here, this just needs to do a, a jab and a not even a nice clean cut. I mean, we'd want to tear somebody open with this. If we're using it, in the spirit for which it, with which it was designed. Um, cool. And now I get to try one of these out. And I know a buddy, he's a military police 
he just got back from Bagram, um, and he carried the larger one of these, um, and he said that it is a great tool. So this going in the like it pile. And then finally, now this is not a standard item. This is kind of a, a bonus item um, for, and it says, oh, Zippo stainless steel hand warmer set um, for 6,497 Club Tech members earned one or more medals this month. Let's see. Uh, product I'm not familiar with. Product I definitely could be using here while I'm freezing to death in wintry health. And since it's a Zippo product, I know it's made right here in Pennsylvania. You fill that up with lighter fluid or Zippo hand warmer fluid, whichever you have available. You then use this to fill up your hand warmer. You put the top on over here. You give it a little flame, light it up, put the top on, and then, oh, here, let's put the sticker on one side. Once it's all going and it is heating, you put it in its little baggie right there to protect your hands from the heat there, and you can put it in a pocket and it keeps you warm. And that's really cool, I've never seen that before. Um, <clears throat> I am a little concerned about carrying a small fire in my pocket, but apparently it works. I'm not entirely sure that you're supposed to put it in your pocket, um, but maybe you're just supposed to hold on to the bag and, you know, it warms your hands. But it's still a pretty cool little device. I like that. <clears throat> and even though this wasn't really on the packing card as an item, I'm putting it in the like it pile too. So overall, let's look at it. So there's one item that I'm just really like, you know what, I'm probably never going to use this. Um, don't like it pile. Well, I, you know, honest review. Might have some don't like it. Playing cards, cute. I'm not going to use them. We've got three items that, you know, uh, I, I am going to test this out. I was hoping it would have a little bit more functionality to it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to carry it. Um, definitely going to put this up in Avon's room. Just, I would have loved to have seen more cool uh, stuff like the hand warmer or this flask, things like that, but it's still a good item. It's not a bad item. Not at all. And this guy right here, I'm still just not sure how I feel about it, besides the fact that I like having a little grenade-shaped object. But, I mean, I gotta say, Adam the GM asked me to just give him another shot and compare this box, not that free trial box, to the other boxes I get, and I, I will say I was wrong about Club Tag. Club Tag has some cool stuff. I feel like the value paid for this box was much better than anything that would have been paid for that uh, trial sample box. So I feel much better now. Um, number one, thrilled that he contacted me and we were able to kind of work out some of the differences and he was able to give me a little bit of an explanation. Um, by the way, if I should have mentioned this up front, uh, I'm going to put a link to that video in the video description as well um, about why I decided to give Club Tag a second chance, um, if you haven't already seen that. Um, but I think that there was some missteps with that risk-free trial thing, and, and it, it's explained in the video that I just talked about. I'm, I'm going to stick with Club Tech. I think, it's, I think it's worth putting some time and a little bit more money in to see what they come up with. Now, throughout the course of conversation with their uh, general manager, Adam, he said that his marketing department, you know, once I said I'd be willing to, uh, you know, get my subscription reactivated, give them a real chance and see what, what comes in the box and everything. Um, they offered me, for you, it doesn't do anything for me, but it's for you guys, a coupon code if anybody, after seeing this unboxing, wants to sign up and try Club Tag out. And it's very simple. I'm going to put it in the video description as well, but it's ready for this. It's complicated. D-O-C-P. Doc P. Uh, Adam didn't understand it at the time, but his marketing folks said, don't worry, he'll understand what it is. Here's how it works, and I want you, I want to make this very clear, okay? It is a one-time $59.99 or $59.95, I'm not exactly sure, but oh, just damn near shy of $60 off. So whether you sign up for, like, the basic box, that is one entire free box, like a genuinely free box one time. If you want to sign up for one of the bigger boxes, you are taking $60 off of your free box. Um, it is not... A, you know free subscription forever and ever and ever it's a one-time $60 off though just about so you can enter that during checkout if you want to sign up for club tech and see what they've got to offer DOCP again doc P it's in the video description and they said that for trying the box out you know and give them another chance I could offer that to you guys um, as you know kind of a thank you people that suggested club tech I see what you're talking about now 
Um, some very cool stuff. And again, I'm gonna say this again, not every box is gonna be a winner every single month, every single item. I recognize that. I'm not gonna hold anybody, you know, accountable to have super shit hot items every single time in every box. Some boxes, you know, some people, what some people think are awesome, some people are gonna think is crap and vice versa. Some people are gonna say this is a crap item, some people are gonna be super excited about it, but I think these guys are really trying and I think these guys are putting together a good product, so. I'm in for the foreseeable future. Please do watch the video about my conversation with him. Again, check the video description for the link to that. Thank you guys. You are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single person that watches this channel. I really, truly do. And I'll be back again real soon.